Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we meet for our quarterly open debate uh, on the Middle East. As I leave New York for a, a new posting next month, uh, I expect this would be my last statement on this file as permanent representative of Ireland. It's abundantly clear to me that uh, Palestinians and Israelis need a political horizon. They need the prospect of a negotiated agreement. They need an inclusive and sustainable peace, but the prospect of renewed and meaningful negotiations, uh, UN negotiations between the parties, is as remote today as the day I arrived here five years ago, and I deeply regret that. The two-state solution to which Ireland remains resolutely, strongly committed, remains frustratingly out of reach. Ongoing illegal settlement activity undermines the prospects for this solution. We need to act now to preserve its very viability. Clearly, mere statements of concern just won't cut it. It's not enough. The recent eviction decision in Masafer Yatta is deeply concerning. It places 1,200 Palestinians, including some 500 children, at risk of forcible transfer and the demolition of their homes. Before I conclude, if I may, uh, I wanted to add a word of sincere thanks to you uh, here at the Press Pool. It's been a professional and personal privilege to work with you. This council, I think, not a world unto itself. Uh, what we do here, of what we say here has implications in places far, far beyond these uh, privileged corridors in New York. And that's why it's really so important, and I say this with a deep and profound belief in this, that journalists like you are able to tell the story of what the council does and doesn't do, where the council fails. For council members, I believe firmly it should be a vocation to facilitate your work where we can. Uh, both to navigate the complexities of this place, frankly, um, are the weird and infinite acronyms, but importantly, uh, to speak the truth about the imperfect, imperfect power politics of the Security Council. So I want to say again uh, a most sincere um, thank you, Agura Mila Mahoga Vilig, in my own native language and over and out. Thank you. Ambassador? Ambassador, um, on behalf of all the correspondents, thank you so much for engaging with us throughout uh, your Security Council tenure, but even before that when you were CSW chair and everything, ambassadors always tell us they're going to engage with us and they don't always do, and you have, so we really appreciate it. And we'll miss you and our colleagues in Washington are very lucky to be getting you. Thank you. Um, on a business note, uh, silence was broken on the Myanmar uh, statement. Uh, do you, so is that the end of it or is there going to be some uh, amendments to the language? Do you still expect a statement on the execution? Look, we should have a statement. Um, this execution of the pro-democracy democracy activists in Myanmar is deeply shocking, repressive, reprehensible. We need to speak out. We need to assume our responsibility as council and call it what it is. So I'm hopeful that more work can be done and that as one, which is where we have the, the voice of the council, that we come together and speak out on this. You can't defend an action like this. Ambassador. Ambassador. Echoing Maggie's words, um, thank you very much. Um, we saw President Biden in uh, the region recently. Uh, he said time was not ripe for fresh negotiations. Does Ireland agree with that? I believe the time is now, it's long overdue, that we see the Palestinians and the Israelis at the table negotiating with all of the help they can get. This House has a role, big partners at the Security Council table have a role. My own Foreign Minister consistently speaks about the urgency and the immediacy of the need for action. So we will work as constructively and as Simon Coveney uh, does as a goodwill player uh, and a friend of both countries, uh, both parties to the, uh, in the region to come up with a, a solution. Thank 
Just an update on Ukraine as well. I mean, there's talk of maybe of a meeting on Friday. Where is your statement? Where are we on Ukraine? Yeah, well, look, I think we probably will have a discussion later this week. The, I want to say, first of all, that um, as uh, our French colleagues would say, chapeau to the Secretary General and to all of those who uh, contributed, uh, Ukraine, Russia and Turkey, uh, to the Grain Initiative uh, Agreement. It was a major achievement. Now what we need to see is that implemented. Um, I, I think we all know there are millions at risk and millions standing by waiting to see this now realized in real time. Um, clearly the attack by Russia 24 hours afterwards uh, in Odessa was deeply cynical. Um, uh, we, the Foreign Minister of Ireland, strongly condemned that straight off the bat. Um, we thought that we should see a statement from the Security Council quickly, immediately. I thought that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and again yesterday. We haven't got there yet. Um, look, the politics on this deeply divided at the table. You know, this is a, a political reality. So uh, we have to uh, try and get on. I'm an optimist. I believe that we should get on with the delivery of the deal now, in spite of any divisions inside that room I'm about to head into. There, uh, just uh, uh, first of all, you will be missed here, uh, and good luck in your uh, new uh, challenge. <laughs> uh, thank you for um, the briefing today. Just a, qu a quick follow-up. We have been talking for the last six months, I think, or maybe longer, about the five Palestinian NGOs organizations that were accused of um, uh, being terrorist organizations, and there was no evidence that was uh, provided by the Israelis. Is this subject still uh, alive for you? Um, are you going to raise it in the Security Council or in other meetings? Thank you. Absolutely still alive for us. Irish uh, non-governmental organizations affected by that, and the Irish government, uh, along with EU partners, have called for clarity. Um, we want to see any evidence for their designation, and frankly, we haven't seen that. So uh, absolutely alive, and we will continue to pursue. Thank you very much. Best wishes. Thank <laughs> you.